In this video, we are going to look at the concept of compounds for chemistry. After going through this video, I guarantee you that you understand the basis of compounds for chemistry. So I ensure you stay at the very end of this video because this is one of the foundations of chemistry. All right, very, very important. Okay, so having known that, let's go into the details of the video. As usual, I will give you guys a practice question at the end of this video to test some knowledge on it. So we are looking at compounds. All right, now basically, what is a compound? Now, a compound in chemistry is simply a chemical combination of two or more elements. All right, so two or more elements combine chemically to give a compound. Okay, or you can see that atoms join together to make what compounds. All right, now for instance, we have something like hydrogen. Can combine with oxygen all right, to give water. Another typical example is carbon. Can combine with oxygen to give what carbon four oxide or carbon dioxide. But the new name is carbon four oxide. Okay. Now note that just as elements can be represented by symbols, okay, compounds can be represented by formulas. All right. The formulas are made up of elemental symbols in the same proportions that the elements can be found in the compound. Okay. Now, just like in this example, when hydrogen reacts with oxygen, the Formula for water is H2O. Okay, the formula for carbon dioxide or carbon dioxide is CO2. Alright, now let's look at the number of atoms in a compound. Okay, just like in this water, we have two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen, making up a compound water. In this one, we have one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen, making up this compound carbon dioxide or carbon four oxide. Okay, note again that a compound could be ionic or covalent in nature. All right, the bond in it could be ionic or covalent in nature. Now, a compound is said to be ionic when the reaction is between a metal and a non metal. Example, we have a sodium hydroxide all right so a metal is combining with a non-metal to form sodium hydroxide all right this is an ionic compound another example is our for instance this carbon four oxide is covalent in nature all right so a covalent compound is a compound in which a non-metal reacts with a non-metal so in this situation carbon is reacting with and oxygen, which are both non metals. Another example of ionic compound is our hydrochloric acid. Another example is our tetra also sulfuric acid. Now, sulfuric acid, these are examples of ionic compounds. So, a metal is reacting with non metals. All right. Another example of covalent compounds we have water is also a covalent compound okay another example of covalent compound is our nitrogen four oxide so for four oxide and the rest of them all right but don't worry we are going to deal with this concept of covalent and ionic compound in details as a topic as we progress in this study of chemistry topics okay so let's progress with the number of atoms in a compound let's wipe this okay still considering the number of atoms in a compound another typical example is this as a freak acid all right so here we have two atoms of hydrogen we have one atom of sulfur and four atoms of oxygen in this compound sulfuric acid or tetra or acid all right 
Now note that there might be brackets in the formula. Example, we have calcium hydroxide. Now, the little number outside these two, the bracket applies to everything inside the bracket. All right. So it applies to all the elements inside this bracket. For instance, we have one atom of calcium here. We have two atoms of oxygen here inside the bracket. And we also have two atoms of hydrogen here inside of the brackets. So this is random examples. We have our ammonia. Okay, these are compounds. We have our sodium chloride. Okay, we have our calcium chloride we have our sodium carbonate okay we have our potassium hydroxide all right so these are examples of compounds so it's a combination of two or more elements chemically so two or more elements chemically would combine to form a compound now let's look at basic characteristics of a compound now one of the characteristics of a compound is that it is accompanied by a great heat. All right, so there is usually an evolution of heat. Another feature of a compound is that a compound is homogeneous in nature and the combination occurs chemically. Okay, so that's it for a compound. All right, these are basic things you need to know about a compound. So having known this, let me wipe this and I'll give you guys a practice Christian, after you can call it a class, let's wipe this. Okay, guys, so look at this chemistry practice question on the compound. It says, How many atoms are in one particle of sodium carbonate? Okay, so feel free to pause this video and see if you can figure this out. This is very, very simple. Okay, let's do it together. So, the compound we have sodium carbonate. All right, so here we have two atoms of sodium here. We have one atom of carbon and here we have three atoms of oxygen. Alright. So when we add these atoms together, and that's two plus one plus three, which will give us was six. Okay. So you can see that we have six atoms and one particle of sodium carbonate. Okay, so it's as simple as that. Hope there's not interesting from this video. Now, if you are new to the channel, you sure you check the description of this video below for link to our telegram channel. Click on it and join. The telegram channel for instant notifications so ensure so you are subscribed to this channel by hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this like share and comment on this video to tell me how you feel from what i learned from this class if you seem to have any specific questions asked regarding this topic feel free to be a question in the comment section below and we sure to give you a response okay now I click on the end screen above and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching